I've made quite a few videos regarding the Airbus A220 talking about the benefits that an airline could receive by employing it into their fleet and also the drawbacks and why they would want to look at other options. With 537 orders already made for the A220, it's starting to become popular with a few low-cost airlines and also major airlines such as Delta. But one airline that would benefit tremendously from the A220 is British Airways. Now you might be wondering why British Airways, why not Virgin Atlantic, why not American Airlines or even Singapore Airlines for example? Well, the answer comes down to one reason, or shall I say, one route. For many years, the airline has been operating their London city to New York route via Shannon. For these type of transatlantic routes, you would think that they would be using the likes of a 757 or a 767. Well, they're actually using the smallest variant of the A320 family, the A318. They operate a business class only service and this flight has a pit stop in Shannon to refuel due to the weight limits of London City Airport's runway. This route has proven to be very successful but the airline has hinted at the retirement of the A318. With newer options available in the market, they could essentially upgrade this flight to handle more passengers and a better return on their investment. In terms of the A220, I think it would be a logical choice when looking for a replacement. It's fully capable of operating into London City and it has substantially greater range than the E195E2s that they could replace them with. We know that airlines are renewing their fleets with narrow-body aircraft because the economics work just right. Take for example Norwegian with their 737 MAX service to the United States. Also, it's cheaper to operate because it's taking a lot less fuel compared to a wide-body aircraft. In fact, the A220 would be even cheaper than the A321LR and around 7% cheaper than the E195E2. As such, with the extended range, British Airways could utilize the aircraft for flights out of Manchester Airport. Now, it's worth noting that the E195E2 will also offer substantial unit cost advantages of the first generation E190s. Management over at British Airways have hinted that the E2 and the A22300 are very closely matched. The A22300 is somewhat larger than the E2 and thus having lower unit costs. However, it's been said by the airline that they appreciate the flexibility provided by the E220 family's additional range. The E190 is mainly confined to short routes, while the E195E2 doesn't quite have full transcontinental range. By contrast, the A22300 can fly between pretty much any two points and have a competitive unit cost on long-haul routes. The range of the plane will also allow the airline to increase the aircraft utilization. For example, they could use the A22300 on short-haul routes during the day and operate their flights to the US without having a need to do a pit stop in Shannon. Such an increase in aircraft utilization could help them reduce their unit costs and also increase their efficiency. Nevertheless, the A220 has become so popular that some airlines are switching to it outright. It's just about waiting and seeing what the result will be and whether British Airways could go for the A220 or something different entirely. But to me, it's a cool subject to talk about. Now captains, as always, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below regarding what you think. Like and subscribe as always if you enjoyed the video and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.